Hello everybody, this is Dilup and welcome back to another Combinator tutorial. Today we're going to be covering some basic gates, including the AND or XOR gate and an uh, insulator gate for your main line. Uh, so I've set up a couple of things here just in preparation of this episode. It's real simple. I just have some combinators that are outputting a 1A, B, and C, and then outputting it onto this main line. So we're going to use this to demonstrate some logic gates. Let's start out with a simple AND gate. Well, most people, when they build an AND gate, would have three combinators like so. Uh, you know what? Let me get rid of this wire for now. They would have three combinators like this. And they would say, if A is greater than zero output, let's just put a, a green signal. And then if B is greater than zero, output a green signal. And then they would say here, if green is greater than one, output a blue signal. Okay, so they would tie all this together, like so, and you get a output of green. Uh, or hold up, green is greater than one, output blue. This should be outputting a blue. I missed a wire somewhere. Ah, I missed this wire right here. Okay, so if both of these are true, then this is outputting a blue signal. If one of them is no longer true, it stops outputting the blue signal. Okay, but there is a simpler way to do gates. This is one way. You could use three decider combinators and you can make an OR gate, an AND gate, and an XOR gate. But we there is an easier way in Factorio. That easier way is to use an arithmetic combinator that has the built-in functionality. Uh, so I'm going to put another power line here just so we can demonstrate. And I'm just going to tie these ends together. And all this does is you choose your AND logic and you read your A and your B and you output green. And that's, I mean, that's all there is to it. They're real simple. <laughs> this used to not be this way. It, is, it used to be way com more complicated with the decider combinators. Now you can use a single combinator for the gate. It's been like this for a little while. But let's uh, talk about what the actual gates do. Um, so the AND gate takes two inputs and it will input true if both of those inputs are true. Uh, so this does have to take a one or a zero for it to work correctly and to output a one because if we were to say feed in a hundred on either of these where we on B and A, Right now it's not outputting anything because they're not equal, but if we do output 100 on this, it will actually add them together, or it'll take like the signal and output you know 100, but they do have to be exactly equal. I typically use this in a binary one or zero setup. Um, so the AND gate will only work if both of them are true. So if we turn like one of these off, we no longer get blue. If we turn both of them off, we no longer get blue. But if both of them are on, you get your blue signal green signal sorry so that's the AND gate the OR gate it's exactly like it sounds it's either it's A or B okay so it's if either of these are true then it outputs green right now they're both true so it's outputting green right now only one is true but the minute one turns off it's no longer green pretty simple the XOR gate is the last one and this works like an OR gate, except if both of them are on, it treats it as a false. So both of these are on, it treats it as a false, we're not outputting green. When one turns off, we're outputting green. It's basically the opposite of an AND gate. It's like an AND OR gate. So those are pretty simple, self-explanatory. You would have to kind of play with them to really understand them. Um, there are some tables you can see online of like how an AND OR gate works. Uh, but that's the basic concept. So the next part of this tutorial that we're going to cover is insulator gates for your main line. So here we have all three signals coming down our line. Well, what if you wanted to do math on these signals and send them back to the main line, but you don't want them to overlap and you don't want them to add together and, and have problems? Right now, what you would do is you would input like your A 
and you can multiply it by 200 and output A again or even output B but if you were to feed this onto the line we, we see that B is now 201 because we're, we're back feeding it onto the line here and that's not really working out well to remedy this what you could do is use a green wire to output the signal and now we have B of 200 on the green wire well that works but we're not getting B and C back either so how do we solve that well you could say at each you would do each signal and you could just plus a zero on it it's a really good way to swap wires by the way and then you output each and then now we can see that we've basically duplicated all of those signals onto the green wire and you can do this with specific signals as well say that we only want a signal and output A or the B signal and output B so this is an insulator for like if you want it's to prevent downstream logic from feeding back into the main line and messing up your variables back into the main line this is useful when you have a lot of signals on one line and are coming back um, I use this to pull variables off and rename them so say that we have an A on our like on our main line but we want to use the signal like a it's, you want it to be copyable so you want every signal to be the same well what you could do is you say you have an A signal coming in you would plus zero and say that you put it out as red right so this is outputting a one red well say that the red is or the A is a copper outpost and B is an iron outpost for instance and you're reading those signals <clears throat> well I wouldn't want to change this for every single one I wouldn't want to say change both variables but what I could do is just change the B and, and or the C you know for like A B and C I don't know how to describe this it's basically a concept in Factorio of plusing a zero and outputting a different amount this we're going to use a lot, but again, it works great as like an insulator or to switch wire colors. Um, I'm hoping that I'm coming off as clear. It doesn't seem like I'm not, or I am, but uh, I hope that helped, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Next episode, we will get into the trains. I'm not a very good teacher, so you got to bear with me, guys, um, but I'm hoping you're enjoying this episode regardless. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to check me out on Twitch. Link is in the description, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.